Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about how to do cross-hatching patterns for polygons in ArcGIS Pro. Now you cannot pick such a pattern from a pick list or from a library like you can in ArcMap, but you can in ArcGIS Pro basically create your own cross-hatching. Note my symbology for my polygon right here. It is angling off with a hatch pattern off at 45 degrees off to the north east. If I double click on that symbol, we'll get the symbology formatting capabilities at our fingertips. So what we need to do is you can see that I've got a hatched fill there. You've got three choices here on the symbology. You've got the symbol itself and you can see the colors that I'm using and so on. And then you've got a layers and then you've got this builder construction set. Those three things. What you want to do is go to structure. And if I go to structure, I'm going to add something here. I'm going to add a symbol layer. I'm going to add a fill layer. But I don't want it to be solid, of course. I want it to be a crosshatch layer. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on there. And now I've got that solid fill. But I don't want it solid. I want it hatched, right? And I also want it angled. Note that I've got this angling at 45. I want it minus 45. So I'm going to hit the minus sign there. And I'm also going to change it so that I've got a blue crosshatch just like the ones I already had to the northeast. Now I've got 45 degrees off to the northwest. Let's say I want to save that and come back to it at some point. Let's say I go ahead and apply this and that's good. And now notice up here I've got save symbol to style. So if I save that symbol to style I'm going to get a dialog box that appears and I'm going to save the polygon symbol as a blue crosshatch and I'm going to call it crosshatch for my category. Now I'm done. I've got the blue crosshatch. Now let's say I want to change something else to that same symbology. Let's say I want to change this solid blue in this other layer to the one crosshatch pattern that I just created. I can do that. But all I have to do is go to the symbology zone and notice that I've got my blue crosshatch in my favorites as a saved symbol. So I can go ahead and pick that right here and then immediately I've got a blue crosshatch for that. So that's how to set up and save and access those crosshatch symbols inside ArcGIS Pro. Thanks.